Hey Style Rebel, welcome to today's style session. We are going to talk about how to get out of your style comfort zone, okay, so that you can feel fabulous every time you put on clothes and get dressed, okay? So I am so excited to talk about um, this today because I know, believe me, I know, and um, I know many people might think, oh, but you're a stylist, so it's easy for you. I'm going to tell you something from woman to woman. It's not always easy to feel fabulous and stylish and confident and slay your day. Okay. Even for a stylist, we are human. So I'm excited to share with you five ways to help you get out of your style comfort zone so that you get more creative with your wardrobe and you actually enjoy stepping into your closet every day and you use more than 20% of what's in there, okay? So let me know yes or no. Did you know that us women only use about 20% of what's in our closet? That's crazy, right? Well, it's, it's a fact, um, but there are ways to change that, okay? You spend so much money and time and sometimes frustration when you're shopping, so why not use it, okay? So um, if you are new to Style Rebel Mama, welcome. I'm so happy that you found me. Uh, my name is Gina Tassinelli, also known as Style Rebel Mama. And I am absolutely obsessed and passionate in supporting women on the go, female entrepreneurs, in elevating and defining your own personal style so that you can always represent yourself the way that you deserve to, to the world. And align yourself with your brand, especially, okay, so that you attract the right audience and you go about it confidently. And you represent yourself in a way that people see you as the expert, okay? So let's get started. Um, if there's anything that you love that I say, give me a hashtag sparkle because that lets me know that, you know, something I said definitely um, resonated with you and it's maybe something new. And by the way, if you have girlfriends that you feel need to level up their style a bit, maybe you hear them complain that they have nothing to wear but their closet is full of clothes, then if you're on Facebook, feel free to sprinkle this in your newsfeed or, or both Instagram and Facebook. Drop their name, tag them, and um, let them know that this is happening because I'm sure that they would thank you and appreciate these tips as well. Okay, so let's talk about this. So first of all, there are so many different factors that play into defining your personal style and doing it with confidence and ease without that decision fatigue, mm -hmm. right? Which is a real thing, by the way. Decision fatigue is real. Um, and the last thing that we need to be spending our time with is trying to figure out what to wear, okay? It should be a simple process. And when you're getting dressed, you should feel awesome. Now, of course, there are those days that maybe you're sick or I get it. You know, we can't always be in the mood, but I will tell you that what you put on changes your mood. So um, getting your personal style together in a way that's seamless, okay, a lot of it has to do with how you have your wardrobe organized, knowing your colors, knowing your body shape. So these are going to be some of the things that I'm going to talk to you about today and why they are so important. Now, whenever I share anything about style, I am the believer that accepting your body shape the way that it is today is the number one thing that needs to happen. It's a mental thing. There's a lot of mental blocks. We all go through it. Before I became a stylist, I think you know many of you that have followed me for a while know that I talk about how I grew up as a dancer and I had, you know, I was very self-conscious with my legs. I have that Latin body and which by the way, I accept and I love, but as a ballerina, it's not, my legs were never the same shape or size or, you know, length 
as the typical ballerina. So I would shut down when it came to wearing shorts and skirts until I learned how to dress for my body shape, which is super important. So number one thing, number one tip to slaying your style and getting out of your comfort zone is to befriend your body, okay? I want you to love it. I want you to feel sexy no matter the size or shape because you deserve to. And you you need to know that. You have to really believe that. If not, you're just going to keep shopping and buy the wrong items and end up with a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear. So it's the very first training that I train about in my the Style Vibe Tribe community. And it's something that I am so passionate about when I teach about style because you really need to love yourself, okay? So you may have goals. We all have goals, right? Maybe we have goals to lose weight. Maybe we have goals to gain weight. But no matter what size or shape you are today, you deserve to dress your body today how it is today, okay? And then you your body evolves, it changes, and then you go with it. But you don't wait until you lose weight to buy that cute outfit or to dress, you know, in a a fabulous, good feeling way. You do it all the time. So befriend your body. And one thing I want you to do, if you don't typically do this, is I want you to stand in front of the mirror naked with no clothes. And I want you to Forget about your height, forget about your weight, and just look at your proportions, okay? And then when you're getting dressed, I want you to figure out, as you as you observe your proportions, I want you to figure out where you carry your weight the most. And you can also do this by measuring three different measurements. You measure around your chest, your waist, and your hips. The measurement that is the largest okay that's going to tell you give you an idea of what your body shape is and when you think about proportions you think about creating an hourglass so picture an hourglass now wherever you feel the largest part of your body is that's where you want to just draw the least attention to so if you are heavier down below you want to and now let me let me preface this Style Rebel Mama, there's a reason for that name because I do not believe in any style rules. So what I'm going to tell you right now is really just for guidance. If you know, if you just need a little support to get you started. Um, so wherever you measure the most, okay, or where you feel you carry your weight the most, you want to take attention away from that body part. So if you weigh, if you're heavier on the bottom, you want to Stay away or try to, unless it makes you feel good, then do it. Stay away from bold, bright colors on the bottom part of your body and prints. And keep that up to the top because that will draw the the eyes to the top part of your body, body and create proportion, okay, which is what we want when we are getting dressed. That's how we are going to feel fabulous in what we wear, and that's how what we wear is going to look the best on us is when we create those proportions. So um, that's just a little style tip. I go into much further like in-depth training on this over a full month in the Style Vibe Tribe, but I do have a body shape guide that if you're interested in getting that, um, I will totally send it to you. So just DM me or drop the word um, on Facebook, shape, and I'll, and I'll get that to you, okay? All right, so number two, I want, to, I want you to detox the clothes that don't feel good on you. There is no reason to have that clothes in your closet if it doesn't feel good on you. Detox, get it out of there, donate it, okay? No reason, it's not serving a purpose for you and there's no intention for you to use it, so it, sh- it shouldn't be there. Get rid of it. And this goes with, you know, even clothes that might have this sentimental value. Sometimes we have clothes from like past relationships, right? That reminds you of certain situations that maybe you don't want to be reminded about. So get rid of it. 
get it out of there. So that's tip number two. All right, tip number three is I want you to rewrite the story about you and your mind, about yourself. So it's the way that you speak to yourself. Change how you speak to yourself. Respect yourself, love yourself. Um, we are so critical about ourselves. And I'm gonna tell you something. Because, and you know, what we see online, what we see on television, um, in the media, we tend to think that we need to look a certain way, right? Our body needs to be a certain shape. It does not. And, and this is something that I teach my 14 year old daughter. Um, and I have for a while now is that first of all, many people, many, um, photos that you see online, they're Photoshopped. That's number one. It's like real life. Everybody has cellulite. Okay. Everybody, um, has a role here or there. Everybody has imperfections and that's what makes everybody so unique and so awesome. So it's okay to, you know, to not want to look like someone else, be yourself, be you and love yourself. So replay the words and the things that you say in your mind. It has a lot to do of how we go about dressing ourselves and how we feel, how deserving we are. Okay. Uh, so number four is I want you to step outside of being so predictable. So have fun with your clothes. Okay, here's something that I always suggest my personal style clients to do. Take an item, you know, say maybe a top, and I want you to find three new ways to style it. So three different ways to add a pair of pants to it, some jeans, maybe a skirt, three different ways. And just start playing with your clothes. Start creating different combinations. Take pictures of them, save them in your phone, you know, Pinterest is another great place to go for inspiration. If you haven't grabbed my 31 days of spring, summer outfits guide yet, that's a great one. Um, it's just 27 bucks. It gives you 31 days of outfits. It shows you, you know, how to mix and match outfits. It also comes with a bonus, but a guide like that will inspire you to create outfits from what you currently have. And by the way, there's shopping links in there. If maybe you love the outfit that I put together that's in there. So you can use it that way as well, but it's a great guide to print out and put on, you know, put inside of your closet and just have for inspiration. So, um, take some time, even if it's like 15 minutes on the weekend, you know, it's hard for us to play dress up right as adults, but take some time for yourself to do this because I promise that when you go to get dressed Monday through Friday, and you get out of your loungewear or PJs if you tend to wear that very often nowadays during the week. I promise you will feel so much better when you have a real outfit on, even though you may not be going anywhere. So, um, so play around with you know with different things and add pops of color. Color makes everything so happy. Okay, and then tip number five is don't keep yourself hung up on your body shape which which i already talked about a bit but you know allow your body to feel like it deserves to get dressed appropriately and fabulously so clothing is something that we have to use unless you're a nudist and you love to be naked all the time maybe you do i'm not going to judge that's you know that's great actually <laughs> but it is something that typically we have to do. So make it fun. Don't get hung up on, you know, I have to lose this weight or I have to gain this weight. Um, make it fun, enjoy it. Nowadays, because of our current situation, I'm telling you getting dressed every single day is not only going to elevate your mindset, but it's gonna keep you motivated and productive. So, um, you know, take some extra time and just get creative, step out of your comfort zone, take pictures, keep a catalog in your phone. If you need extra support, reach out. Okay. And 
those were my five tips on stepping out of your comfort zone. All right, so I will catch you guys later. Bye.